product overview uh, and expected sale process. This is actually a industry sponsored talk by Novartis overcoming the current challenges in diabetic eye disease. There is need financial uh, disclosure. So, uh, what are the current challenges in managing the diabetic eye disease? Challenges may be related to diagnosis of the disease, treatment of the disease, or once we initiate the treatment, adherence to the treatment protocol by the patient is also a bigger challenge in management of diabetic eye disease. We will come upon these factors one by one. So, as far as the diagnosis of diabetes is concerned, early screening the patient at the right time is the biggest ch challenge. Still in India, majority of our uh, physician colleagues or and diabetologists, they generally fail to uh, stress the point to the patient to go for an eye screening regularly to detect any diabetic eye disease on time. And that leads to complicated disease at the presentation, which generally leads to poor outcome. If we screen a patient on time, then definitely we can save all these complications in cases of diabetic. As we all know that you know, throughout the world, the population of diabetes is being increasing day by day. Currently, 463 million people are suffering from diabetes, which is expected to increase to 700 million by 2045. So that is a huge population burden needs to be catered for diabetic eye disease. And out of those diabetics, any form of DI is seen in 27%, DME is seen in 4.6% of any DIA and 1.4% people develop neovascular form of diabetic retinopathy. So one out of five patients get diagnosed with diabetes and they are can go undetected in the rest of them leading to poor visual outcome and delayed diagnosis. Now after diagnosis coming to the treatment. So <clears throat> as far as uh, treatment part is concerned, uh, treatment of DMV is very important because DMV is the most common cause of effective vision in cases of diabetes. And we are treating all our patients mostly with anti EGF. Laser has taken a back seat in management of DME. We are generally not treating with laser as a primary treatment. Injections are being given. But uh, infrequent injections, poor outcome, lack of regular follow up, and lack of loading those concepts leads to generally poor outcome. Now, multiple studies have shown that if a patient is offered a loading dose treatment for uh, diabetic macular edema, the response short term and long term outcome is much better as compared to lesser time uh, infrequent injections in uh, diabetic eye disease. Uh, uh, in this slide, we can see that visual equity gain is directly proportional to the number of injections given, and that in the first year of treatment it is very important. If we do not give loading dose, the results are uh, relatively poor as compared to loading dose treatment. The another factor is adherence to the treatment that is very, very important. As we all know that all diabetic patients develop multifactorial disorders like neurodegeneration, neuropathy, then nephropathy, cardiovascular disease, stroke. So at the same time, they need many types of medical treatment and a multiple appointment through different specialties. And that leads to lack of adherence to the patient. This, this survey shows uh, lack of um, follow-up by the patient due to cancellation of appointment, no so, and many a times in, in, in India also we see a lot of patients they do not turn up for their scheduled appointment for a follow-up treatment. And that leads to poor outcome. This co comorbidity and loss of productive time are the contributor factors in patient non-compliance. <coughs> So uh, what, what we see here that DME patients who are non adherent to treatment in the first year of anti laser therapy, they generally experience 10 times higher rate of clinically significant vision loss as compared to patients who are adherent to treatment and they follow up regularly. So that is very important point. Uh, this slide you can see that all the studies were done as a randomized controlled trial where the patients were enrolled and followers strictly monitored within a time frame the outcome was much better. While the real world study or phase 4 trials or data shows that the outcome was inferior. Why? There was only one factor important in that. In a study, we always get a follow-up at a regular time if a patient is not following it. That is deleted from the study. But in real world data, we include all patients. So that emphasizes the uh, importance of regular follow-up and timely treatment. 
not adhered patients with DME treatment pose a higher risk of visual equity loss. One in six patients and one in ten patients were lost to follow within an interval of six months and one year respectively. It was shown in uh, many studies. <coughs> Yes, so what we see here that early initiation, that is diagnosis of DME at, at an earlier stage and starting treatment with anti VEGF molecule was the most important factor to uh, get a better visual outcome in patients of DME. Rise and Rise demonstrated that a delay of 24 months in initiating DME treatment lead to significant visual, uh, ins insufficient visual equity outcome. And visual equity outcome was much better in patients who received loading dose of ranibizumab. Better improvement were observed in patients who received more than four ranibizumab injection in 12 months. And non-adherence is associated with inferior clinical outcome in patients treated to DME. So DME has higher, highest proportion of patients uh, not adhering to treatment. So we can emphasize to all these patients about the early diagnosis, adherence of treatment, and initiation of loading dose treatment. Uh, uh, a strict follow-up in at least first year of treatment and a lot of patient support program is also going on by the industry also especially that Novartis people are they are offering uh, one free dose from uh, after every two uh, paid vials so that actually helps the patient in uh, getting a proper treatment at least receiving first three loading doses and that will help in uh, good outcome for DME patients so thank you so much for uh, your attention